Sourcing custom lead screws can be a time-consuming and frustrating process. IGIS created an online software program that allows you to configure a custom lead screw in 20 minutes or less. Today, we're gonna walk you through how to do that. Hi, I'm Nick Isabella. I'm the Lead Screw Product Specialist with IGIS. Today, we're going to be doing a deep dive into our online configurator. I'm gonna show you how to get a print, step file, data sheet, and pricing up to 49 pieces for your prototypes in just a couple clicks. Let's get to it. Once you come to the IGIS home screen, all you need to do is hover over the configurators. From here, linear technology, and right on down to the lead screw configurator. Once you get to the landing page for the configurator, you're going to be able to choose from any number of IGIS's lead screws to customize. Today, we're going to be configuring a high helix dry spin screw, dry spin 12 by five. From here, you can see you can select your thread direction. If anything is grayed out, it's already letting you know that that's not an option. So for dry spin 12 by five, right hand thread is the only option that you can select. From here, you can select the material type. You have the ability to choose between stainless steel, carbon steel, or aluminum, depending on the screw. You would then enter in the number of pieces that you would be ordering, and enter in the total length of the entire screw, not just the threaded portion. From here, you move on to your next page. We are actually going to start machining your screw. You can add machining with pins, without pins. Here you can see the ability to choose between the left or the right-handed side of the screw. You'll see this right here, the number of sections that you can add. You can actually add up to three different sections and all of those different sections of your journal can have different machining options on them. Now, the software that we've created is very intuitive. It knows if there's thread remaining on a journal, so it'll restrict the machining options that you have to choose. It'll tell you if the dimensions you put in do not, um, they're not able to be configured, and we'll ask you to edit that. So first, we'll start off with our section one area here. As you can see, the tolerance on this journal, you can choose between multiple different options. Our standard tolerance is H9, and it'll tell you that this is smoothly finished. Now, if you choose a diameter uh, that is actually too large to remove all the thread from the screw, you'll actually see that. So if we go up to 10 millimeters in diameter, you can clearly see with thread remaining. And that basically would prevent you from choosing certain machining options. You're going to enter your length, and move on to your second section. Again, tolerance to choose from, and your third section. Now, the best part about the configurator is the fact that you're not actually drawing this. You're not adding in every little detail um, for the machining options that you're choosing. It's very simple, it's drag and drop. I want a chamfer on the end of my journal, I add a chamfer. We want thread on the second section. It'll tell you what threads are available for the diameter that you've chosen. M8 is what's automatically available to you. And then we'll add in an insertion. And again, you're just dimensioning this. Now, if you add dimensions that aren't capable, they don't make sense, it's, it's not configurable, it'll tell you, it's very intuitive software. So very quickly you can see, it'll keep you from moving on to the next section if you don't dimension everything. And you can see here, none of these dimensions make sense. So the software will tell you this. And then you can just go back and you're gonna edit this.
And now that we're done with our left side of the screw, we can move on to the right side. And again, we're gonna go through the exact same steps. All very simple. Adding a clamping feature here. change this dimension and there we go we have a fully configured screw this section lets you change the tolerances of the screw and on the last page it gives you some key details about your screw the screw that you configured being 12 by 5 basic dimensions of that screw the different types of materials that you could select from. It'll tell you the actual uh, specific material being 304 stainless steel, the total length of your screw, the thread length of it, and here you can see a 3D rendering of that screw. Over here you can actually download the reports that I was speaking of before, being the data sheet, your dimension drawing, your step file, and the most important part of this whole process is the shopping cart. You want to add your parts to the shopping cart because here in the shopping cart will be your ordering part number. And you will use this part number to order this screw every time you need to buy it. So once you go into your shopping cart, you'll get all the details about your order. You can see very clearly here your part number. And again, going into those key details about your part from the shipping weight, um, different costs for shipping depending on the options that you choose and that's it. It's as easy as that. Once you've added your parts to the shopping cart and placed your order, your file goes directly to our machinist to start production. You can click the link below down in the description to start your configuration today. Thanks for watching.